Aquarius, welcome to your future love reading. Thank you all for being so patient with me. I needed to take a couple days off. So we are going to take a look though at your future love. So this is going to look at September through November. If it hits home, the link to the extended reading is below. And in that reading, we're going to take a look at your person. What's going on for them emotionally? How do they feel about you? How will they feel about you? And how will they want to move forward out of November? So kind of spying on them, Aquarius. So this is going to be good if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. Make sure you hang out to the end of the reading where I'm going to make a couple announcements. One of them will be how you can enter to win a free $25 Amazon gift card. I do a giveaway every month and that's going to be the giveaway this month. So you're going to want to hang out and uh, learn how you can enter into that drawing. All right, let's take a look. So in the recent past, what do we got for your future love? The three of swords. So this would be their energy in the recent past. Libra energy. What's going on right now, Aquarius? The three of pentacles. So that's their present energy. What's on their mind when it comes to that energy? The king of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So typically what I go for in these readings is the past, the current energy, what's on their mind, what will they think of you, how will they feel at you, feel at you, <laughs> okay. How will they feel about you, Aquarius? How will they wanna move forward? Things that are going on that you don't see, so in the hidden factors, your advice, and then the outcome for the connection, leaving November. Some of you may already know this person, we're going for new energy, your next, you know, future love connection, but again, mom here can't help what cards come out, right? So it could be that some of you already know this person. We'll see, let's lay all the cards out. What does this person think of you or how? what will they think of you? The Six of Swords. There's your air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. How will they feel about you? The Hanged Man, Pisces. How will they wanna move forward? What will their plans be? The Moon in Reverse, another major arcana for Pisces. What's in the hidden factors that you won't see? The Two of Pentacles. Your advice from spirit, what do they want you to do? Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's your outcome with this person, your future love? The Five of Swords. A lot of swords. Makes sense because you're an air sign. All right, let's see what's going on, Aquarius. I would appreciate it if this reading tickles your fancy in some way. If you hit that thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Uh, it helps the video to reach more people and the channel to continue to grow. In the comment section, let me know your Mars sign. I don't know. That's just what I'm asking this time around. I'm interested. I want to know your Mars placement. Mine is a Scorpio, so let me find my twin. All right, Aquarius, future love. What do you need to know about this person and situation? The seven of wands just flew out on my floor. I can't reach it because it's all the way across the room, but you've got <laughs> Leo Sag Aries energy, so we're going to keep it right there. That'll be your overall energy with this person coming into the reading. If you don't know this person yet, which I'm hoping a lot of you don't, I want it to be new love. That'll be your overall energy for you coming into the reading. So really determined, defensive, standing your ground when it comes to love. You might even be blocking someone out here. We, we're we getting in the past three of swords some sort of separation, but it could be that this person is just feeling disappointed in the recent past. Let's clarify, due to some separation in their life. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, future love. What do you need to know about this person? How are they going to treat you? How do they feel about you? September through November. I kind of feel as though uh, you already have connected with this. I think a lot of you probably know this person. It doesn't mean it was a full-blown relationship and then it ended. You may have been a friend. You may have been casually dating. Let's see, Three of Swords in the past for y'all. What is this about? And the Five of Wands. You know, Aquarius, I feel like there's somebody here who uh, likes to date around, maybe they cheated. I feel like you know this person. I just do. That Five of Wands, there was some sort of drama and it caused a separation or maybe they just had, you know, maybe it was a competitive situation where they, were, they wanted to date more than one person or they had more than one person. And then the Death card, see Scorpio, I think you ended it. They may have, but I think you I think you did for the most part. I think that would be Aquarius. Those of you who are like, Mom, I haven't dated or connected with anybody in 35 years. Well, this is their past energy. There's an ending here and a separation. 
What's going on right now? We've got presently the Three of Pentacles. Why? Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Prince of Cups. So that would be like the Knight of Cups in the traditional Rider way. So the knights, they tend, they tend to come and go. It's not the most stable energy. You don't really know when that prince is going to show up or when he's going to leave, Aquarius. He's bringing emotion, right? There's an emotional offer. What's this three of pentacles with the prince of cups and the nine of cups? If you already know this person, it's very player-like energy and they're a little bit self-serving. It's a little smug. I'm just saying, those of you that this is going to be a completely new connection, this person is in the energy after ending something in their past. They're starting to date again. They may be a little overindulgent with those two cup cards, but this person is currently kind of living life right now, getting out there. What's on their mind when it comes to this? The King of Pentacles, and now we have the Princess of Cups. So that would be like the Page of Cups in the traditional Rider right Waite. What's this Princess of Cups? Some sort of communication, Prince of Swords. Look at all these court cards coming out, Aquarius. What the hell? So the Page of Cups, again, could indicate some sort of newer connection. They're ready to like offer, they're ready to get out there after going through some sort of disappointment. But I feel with all the kind of Knight Prince energy showing, this person's in the middle stages. It's not the most stable long term. So when you come into contact or you come into connection with, you have the connection with this person, remember with the Knights and the Princes, they, the energy tends to come and go. I feel like this person is excited to start dating again or to get out there again. That Prince of Swords is fast, fast energy. He definitely has something to do, something to say. Right, it's very quick. This person's impulsive. This actually, this person looks like they're kind of fun. I got to keep it real. I mean, the King of Pentacles on their mind. I think their, um, you know, their career is very important to them. They probably make pretty good money, very stable energy. I think they left a long-term relationship. For those of you that know this person, you've had an ending with them. Their energy is taking a huge shift. They're thinking more about commitment now. But again, it's like they kind of go back and forth with the page. If you are in separation, you'll get some sort of communication. There's an apology tied to this, but then they may leave again. Listen, if you already know this person, I'd be cautious. I don't love like an, an ex or I've known this person or we dated for 10 minutes before. I don't love the energy if that's your story, Aquarius. So just be guarded and careful. If it's a newer connection, they're just out there living life, having fun, but they may act on their impulses rather quickly. Uh, what does this person think of you or what will they think of you when you come into contact? Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here with the Eight of Swords? There's all that air energy, Aquarius, and the Ace of Cups. A lot, they're going to view you, a lot of you, as leaving shitty relationships behind. You'll probably, you may share that with this person. That Eight of Swords, again, is, you know, a little bit trapped, feeling a little trapped in your mind, a little stuck, you know, maybe a little bit frustrated. But they see that you've left some of that energy behind, that you've moved on. If it's them that caused you kind of that, that stress, that energy, they see you as moving away from them and maybe having new love too. If this is a past person, I think for, it's like 50-50 for y'all. Some of this is brand new. And it, this newer connection will just look at you as like healing and self-love and ready to offer the cup again, looking for new love after basically leaving some ish-ish. I just made up a word, ish-ish. I was going to say some ish behind. You're ready for this cup. How will they feel deep down? They've got the hanged man. Pisces. Yeah, see that ten of swords. I feel like this person is having kind of like um, a new outlook on love, life. They've had some sort of ending. They're pausing. If this is a new connection, Aquarius, this person, their emotions towards, I feel like that hanged man is starting to see love and see the connection with you in a kind of a different way, a different perspective. They've, they're gaining clarity on what they need to do for their next relationship. So this is somebody almost like an awakening after really struggling and going through some pretty tough endings in their life. They're now starting to change their perspective emotionally. You're bringing out some sort of emotion that is allowing them to do that. Those of you that have already known this person, they're going to come in, but they're going to be night energy and they're going to leave again. And then they're just going to put it at a stalemate. 
And with that Ten of Swords, they may know very good and well that they're going to be causing some hurt and some pain. So again, if, if this is somebody you've already connected with, maybe you haven't heard from them in a while, I would not advise. I'm just saying. Um, how will they want to move forward? You've got the Moon in Reverse, Pisces Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. Opening up after you know a long-term relationship, after a marriage, revealing... This newer connection, Aquarius, September through November, your future love, right? <laughs> this newer connection, this new energy is going to lay everything out on the table. I think also, too, those of you that this is the newer connection, their, um, their money, their career, they're really, really setting the tone for their future. Very serious and very stable energy career-wise and money-wise. They're going to be very open, they want everything to be out on the table. They don't want any secrets. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is, you know, value and success. This is a long-term relationship. What's this Ten of Pentacles? And there's that moon in reverse again. If you've already connected, if this is a past connection, Aquarius, and maybe there was a marriage involved, maybe it, there was a third-party type situation, they're going to want to discuss that and talk about it. You, it, it may be revealed to you as well that this person is still in a long-term relationship. So I'd be careful with that. Newer connection, though, everything's out on the table. They're going to be very open. They're not going to be closed off. And it's about what they want for the future, which to me looks like a long-term successful relationship. What's hidden that you don't see or you won't see? Two of Pentacles with the Tower, sign of Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's still juggling, somebody that you've had, you know, action with in the past somebody you've been with in the past and it's going to be revealed um i do feel a lot of y'all this you know energy this communication from this person is going to be just shock right you're not even expecting to hear from this person it's this tower yeah seven of swords on that tower no thank you mom says no thanks and if i need to call somebody i will this is a boom this is be careful i'm telling y'all don't give up the goods don't give up the cookies. This person is going to take and then they're going to ghost. They're going to pull away. They're still juggling some sort of situation. Oh. I feel follow, uh, newer connections. What's going on here behind the scenes? That two of pentacles can be very busy. You're trying to balance a relationship, your career, your family. Because I think this connection just comes out of nowhere for them. It's like, boom, they're kind of dating, living life, really gone through a lot of healing and awakening. And that Seven of Swords is strategy on that tower. That, that's only if this is a newer connection, September through November. Because the Seven of Swords can be, I'm putting a plan in place. I'm just not telling a lot of people. But X energy, mm -mm. mom says no. Why is the Page of Swords here your advice? And the Wheel of Fortune. So something quite unexpected is coming in love and spirit's trying to tell you that could be some sort of karma if it's a past situation you've already dealt with them this is a karmic um lesson karmic situation that page of swords says you know for the advice like do your research be curious look out make sure you know you're covering all your bases because here it comes wheel of fortune here's the lesson right Newer connections, this is just something that's faded, um, probably really in, in a period of time where you're not even expecting new love. It just kind of comes out of nowhere, but it's important with that Wheel of Fortune. There's some sort of karma tied to this. It's this Page of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Magician. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo, Major Arcana. You've got two majors with the wheel and the magician as your advice. It's really, really important, you know, September through November. Those of you who are completely single, really manifesting, using that law of attraction because something faded is coming. And with the page of swords, just, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's is how I feel. And of course, that's your air energy. Somebody also I'm reading in this within this connection is very drawn in it's like they're a magnet and they can kind of just pull you in and spirit saying oh here comes the lesson aquarius what's the outcome you've got the five of swords and the four of cups yeah somebody's just kind of thinking of themselves right me 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 i know it may hurt you but i don't really care it's all about me and it just you know, that Four of Cups here is, you know, dissatisfied, but also feels rejected. In this in this deck, this is the Cosmic Tarot, by the way, he almost looks like shame. Like, I can't believe I fell for that. I can't believe this happened again. 
So I'm just saying be careful of that energy. If this is a newer connection, um, there is, I, I just, I'm feeling, and I heard too, Aquarius, this person's so powerful with a path that they've chosen to take in their life, and they're going on such a journey. That Five of Swords, this is newer connections, the Five of Swords is very much standing in your power. And with the Four of Cups, it may turn you off a little bit. I'm not really getting ego for this person. I do feel like there's potential. This builds. This will not just jump into, oh my God, we are at Williams Sonoma picking out cha you know, China patterns. I don't see that happening by the end of November, but I see a slow kind of build here. It starts kind of middle of ground. And it'll be interesting in the extended reading, we'll see what happens with this person leaving November. But I just feel like you might be a little annoyed or turned off by this person's, like, they're overly confident. Again, I'm not getting egocentric. What's this Four of Cups? And the Ten of Cups. If it's a newer connection, I would hang in there, though. I feel like there is potential. It grows. We see a shift in energy here, leaving November. It grows into something very nice. But, again, with the Tens... This person's been in a long-term relationship before and they're really standing in their power, but there's something about it, Aquarius, that might make you feel as though you will then get rejected because their energy is so strong and powerful. I don't see that happening. I see it really going to fulfillment on an emotional level. It could really lead to a long-term relationship. Um, yes, so over, so over in the extended reading, we'll take a look at your person's energy, how they'll feel about you, what you can expect based on how they perceive you, and where's this headed after November. We'll take a look at that energy. Uh, you guys want to win an Amazon gift card? Awesome. Just comment below that you want to be entered into the drawing. I'll go live September 15th, and I will randomly pick a winner. So this month, Amazon $25 gift card just to say thank you and how much I really really appreciate all of you um, I absolutely love being here and I am so so grateful for all of your support and for y'all sticking sticking through it with me and and being here all right you guys I love you hard love me hard back and we'll speak soon take care